Hey everybody, Dylan here, and I am back with RPG a Day number 11. Today's question is, what dead game would you like to see revived? And for me, this is very easy. It's Tribe 8. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Tribe 8, this is, um, in essence, it's a, a post-post-apocalyptic kind of modern fantasy game with strong spiritual elements uh, and kind of some horror elements as well. It's kind of hard to explain, which is why I think it deserves a resurrection. Um, in essence, you are a human uh, who has grown up in a society of humans who have broken free from these horrible flesh crafting abominations called the Zabri. Um, and you are all organized into seven tribes. Uh, each tribe is led by a Fatima. Uh, but you, as a player, are usually not actually one of the members of the seven tribes. You are a former member uh, who is now what is called a Fallen who has been uh, outcast from their tribe uh, and sent to the island of home to live with the other fallen. Um, this is one of the worst crimes or one of the worst punishments for a crime that can be levied against you uh, in the setting. Uh, but it's not always just. You can totally play a character who is, is uh, exiled for no good reason. Um, the setting is really interesting. Uh, it's technically set in the real world in that, you know, there's the remnants of technology and, there's like all sorts of old world uh, artifacts and things like that that are very rare. Um, and so there's this weird kind of earthy backdrop that is based in the real world. But the world that you occupy in the game is is almost in no way uh, related to it. Um, but most notable about Tribe 8 actually is that it has far and away by degrees of magnitude the best meta plot of any role playing game, tabletop LARP or otherwise that I have ever read. And I am not joking when I say that. Uh, this meta plot is so good that the vast majority of people who get brought into playing Tribe 8 uh, in kind of the cult following that the game has actually play through the meta plot, the same meta plot, uh, and that cult, cult following has an extremely high priority on not spoiling that meta plot for people. Um, I'm not going to do it either. Suffice to say, it's really, really cool. Highly recommend you check it out. That is Tribe 8. This is the first edition book. Uh, if you're going to play Tribe 8, use the first edition rules. The second edition rules are even worse. That's actually the big downside to Tribe 8, and the reason I think it deserves a revival uh, is that the rules are crap. Uh, we had to house rule the hell out of it to be able to make it even tolerable to modern sensibilities. So between that and the fact that it's kind of an obscure but really cool setting, I'd love to see it return. Maybe we'll go to third edition someday. Fingers crossed. What dead game would you like to see revived? What what has fallen out of the, uh, the zeitgeist of RPG gaming that you love and you would like to see come back? Let me know down here in the comments. Uh, and while you're at it, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for RPG A Day number 12. Bye!